Hey Rockstar, it's uh, Jack here at 360 Fitness. Uh, coming at you today uh, with a super quick video. Uh, uh, we're gonna be talking about workout progressions that have nothing to do with just increasing the weight. So I see so many times uh, uh, beginners kind of go wrong in the gym right off the bat is, is when they're just starting out, they're thinking that they just constantly have to lift more weight, more weight, more weight, more weight. And it's, it happens to us all, but usually like form breaks down, technique breaks down, an injury occurs, you hit a plateau, it's frustrating, so you just quit altogether. So we're going to talk about four cool little super simple things you can do to progress your workouts without just grabbing heavier weights because usually that's like the, the last thing you need to do before you kind of gonker all these. So these are kind of small little bumps you need to get over before you get over the mountain. So number one is tempo. Tempo is just kind of like how long it takes for you to lift that weight. Slow it down. Time under tension. So putting the muscle under more tension over a longer period of time with the same load is just as good as increasing your weight but going faster. So slow it down. So the concentric and eccentric, slow that movement down, go at a better tempo. Trust me, this is gonna be the most important one. Slow it all down, okay? Focus on your tempo. Number two, supersets. Supersets are just a fancy way to say combining two exercises back to back. Usually they're antagonistic exercises, but it's a great way for you to do two exercises back to back and not cannibalize each other. For instance, I'm going to be doing a push exercise supersetted with a pull exercise. It's not gonna fatigue the same muscle groups and you're gonna be able to do twice as much activity in the same amount of time. And it's great too because it's gonna, you're gonna burn a little bit more calories and you get twice as much done in half the time. This is something we utilize at 360 all the time with our clients. Number three, something we also utilize at 360 is eccentrics. Focusing on the eccentric movement or the negative movements or the lowering of the movement is super, super important. So let's say that we're doing a push exercise again. When I push away, that's my concentric. The muscles are shortening and contracting. As I'm doing an eccentric, my muscles are lengthening and almost like breaking against the force and that's two, like two, three, four, five times as much strength in an eccentric movement than there is in a concentric. So really focus on that. You're able to usually to do uh, more rep sets, even heavier weights if you focus on the eccentric movement first and really slow that down. So for instance, let's say we're doing a push up. This is the floor, by the way. I'm gonna be doing a one second concentric and a one, two, three, four, five second eccentric. So you can do you know, more reps and sets with that, but trust me, you do that with a few movements, you're really gonna feel it. Fourth, last but not least, frequency. This just means hitting that movement more often, okay? So if you're doing two upper body workouts in a week, do three, okay? Do four, do five, and you don't need to work out more, you just need to hit that body part or hit that group or hit that movement more often. So hit it more frequent. Okay, so if you're doing the push-ups again, it's not like you need to add weight to your push-ups, throw things in your back, you just, and, and do it like once a week. Do push-ups two to three times a week, but not increase the load. Trust me, the frequency will add up. Let's go over it again. Tempo, slow that movement down, it's super important. Superset, antagonistic relationship exercises, so pushes and pulls, you know, knee flexion, knee extension, hip flexion, hip extension, opposites, you get the idea. Eccentrics, focus on the negative weight, the braking mechanism of the lift and frequency. Hit that movement, hit that exercise more often, you know, under less load. Do those four things and you can progress in your workouts super awesome, super fast and see great results without just having to increase the load, which usually leads to bad form, bad technique and hurting yourself. Get out of there. Talk to you soon.